All right, to make your own foil cards, you're going to need a few things. Uh, if you're working with me, I have them provided. First is a mink laminator. This works with the mink foil. They work together pretty nicely, so no reason to ever separate them. You could probably use other materials. I used to use just a normal laminator for this, with mixed results. You're gonna need some black cardstock. Uh, get the thickest, heaviest cardstock you can find. This is a little secret to success. It's a little envelope that you're gonna put your foil and the um, paper into. Then you need an X-Acto knife and a needle tool. And then to round it all out, since you're using an X-Acto knife, you need a cutting mat. Stay safe. So first, let's go to my favorite place in the world, Pixlr. And you're going to open the template that I provided for you. All right, so once you get it open, you can see what you're working with here. It's a template, so you just can put things into the right spots, uh, so you don't have to overthink it. Go ahead and open up your image of whatever you're gonna be doing. I recommend maybe doing a Sharpie drawing or something at first, so you can just kind of get used to it. And then take a picture, scan it in. But we need to edit it, because we need to edit it a harsh black and white. So even if you took a terrible picture, it doesn't matter. It needs to be black and white only. So you can take the black, doodad on the left drag it to the right take the white one drag it to the left until you get a pretty stark contrasted black and white image no shading no blending no rate gradients nothing nothing none of that stuff works all right all right so i grabbed the uh magic wand tool in the upper left and just click the background to erase a bunch of it just click and then hit delete hit command d to get out of it but we're just trying to get rid of all the excess stuff that's there so you can Ooh. then take your eraser and just get rid of the rest of it that's all that matters we're just trying to get the image isolated by itself all right i went up to edit and free transform just to alter my image a little bit so i can have it orientated the right way and then the magic right there went down adjustments and went all the way down to the bottom and de uh and then inverted it the reason we invert it is because we want whatever is white here to be black and don't worry too much about it, just know to invert. All right, then I went up to uh, image or edit and I clicked stroke. I'm gonna put that around 10 with a black outline to it. And again, don't really worry about the reasoning why you're doing this right now, just know that you need to do it. All right, so it'll end up stroking some, some of your stuff you didn't get erased, that's fine, just go ahead and erase it. All right, so go ahead and Go to image and then transform, and then you're gonna shrink your image down. Shrink it so it fits inside of the art goes here box on your template. Shrink it a little bit more. There you go. All right, now you're gonna go to layer, and then you're gonna hit duplicate layer. You saw it right up there at the top. So that way you can have two. Then you're gonna click the pointer, drag it down. This isn't too complicated, it's just going a little bit fast. Feel free to pause anything, I don't, whatever. Go ahead and save it, whatever you want, I don't care. When you save it as a JPEG, you'll see all that white in the background. Once it's up, print it out. Boop important you gotta say the boop boop or it doesn't work all right so you need to manually feed these in and again if you're working with me I'll probably just handle this part I don't want you hanging out right behind me this is where my desk is please don't enter this space then it prints you can see the black you can barely see it on the black that's where the magic comes all right so for the actual time for all this stuff to work turn the mink Laminator on, it needs about five, 10 minutes to heat up. And then you're gonna hit that gold button a few times to get the red flashing light to go on to five. Since we're putting it black, it goes on to five. Here's your image, you can see it reflecting. And this is really how the whole thing works, honestly. And it's wonderful, just wait, oh, it's beautiful. All right, so get your strip of gold foil down. There should be some just ready for you to go. 
grab your laminator pouch. Is it a laminator pouch? Yeah, laminator pouch. And stick your artwork in there, and then you're going to put the gold foil on top of that. Easy. Now, it will want to be a little static electricity and try to slip on you, so just make sure the gold foil covers the whole thing. And then right here, you're going to slide it in as straight as you can, not at an angle, and then it will tug at it and it will pull. So you can let go. Look at me. Look, Ma, no hands. Ugh. Here's another angle of it because it's kind of hard to see. It will pull from your hands, okay? So you don't have to worry about jamming it through the machine. Please don't jam it through my machine. All right, once you peel it off, there's gonna be a lot of ecstatic electricity. Don't hug your friends. Grab your art piece out, and then you're gonna let it cool for like a little bit, and then pull it. And everywhere there was black toner will attract the gold. Isn't that fantastic? It's straight up witchcraft. I love it. I understand why it works, but I also refuse to believe that. We're just printing gold here. Love it. So we, we did this as a card, um, so that way you can just get a little practice folding cards. So the paper is eight and a half by 11. So we need to cut out, we need to take the needle tool at 4.25 inches and drag it twice what's going to be happening is this is scoring the paper and it's going to make it so it will fold a lot easier here's another look so i'm just dragging the needle tool across with a little bit of pressure and you can see here how it kind of makes a crease that's going to make it so this paper will fold because this paper's thick and it will not want to fold for you now we're cutting the paper in half this way it's 11 inches long, so we need to do five and a half inches for our cut. Here's another example. Hold. Don't worry about cutting through the whole thing necessarily. You can just score and cut a few times with the uh, X-Acto knife. And then there we go. You got yourself a beautiful little card. Go give it to your best friend. Go give it to your uh, secret Valentine, Valentine crush. And they'll never acknowledge you ever again. But hey, at least you, at least you tried. See ya.